Hi folks, I hope you're all doing good. You're going to hear uh, in the background fans, dehumidifiers, and air conditioners all going off at the same time. Uh, yeah, we got another hot steamy one here in Michigan. But uh, anyway, I want to show you this knife here. It's a Shatton Morgan. Uh, it's 2003, so it was made right in the Bill Howard era. Um, Chat Morgan Silver Keystone Series, number 13, series number 13, but it's also the uh, Silver Keystone, which uh, you'll, if you look around, you'll find uh, they did it on quite a few different patterns where they actually use a sterling silver keystone shield. But before we get to that, let's kind of redeem myself on this one that was a disaster video yesterday um, didn't wasn't really prepared but anyway here I wanted to show you it when it's closed and tucked away how neatly everything's tucked away and there is a slight gapping on it nothing real serious But this is probably going to be, because they're so rare, it's probably going to be a, a safe queen, at least for a while. Because I got plenty of knives to do carving with. And this is, for sure, is a can opener, old school style. But you won't see them quite with this thumb... Uh, rest here the older style but I tell you one thing I wouldn't want to try and open a can open or open up a can of beans with it so that's that we'll put that right on this uh, clean paperweight display thing and the, another thing I wanted to show you I was I told you guys I was all reorganizing my collection and this is kind of what I figured out I'm going to do. Now I got these. These are the thick plastic, like the 4 mil. And they're 5 inches long by 2 inches wide. And I got some uh, desiccants. You probably don't need one this big. I kind of screwed up there because you can't really tell how big they are until after you receive them. But yeah, this is the 3 gram, so you probably could get like a 2 gram. And what I just do is I clean up the knives a little bit, throw them in there, and throw a desiccant in there. And then you can put them in your um, chest or um, dresser or whatever the heck you want to do, cardboard boxes. But they'll stay nice and clean and they won't scratch. Because I store my boxes and tubes separately and independently so they stay in good condition without you know always always have to open up the box to get your knife out when you want to play with it so that's just an idea if you guys want to know where to get these bags from these little baggies um, they are kind of expensive for a hundred of them it's going to cost ten dollars but just leave a comment down in the comment area and I'll put down the company that sells them and you can order them by mail. <clears throat> but I, I see it seems to be working out pretty good for me. And it will fit. I've got this big Shat Morgan English Jack. And it's four and a half inch handle. So it just kind of fits, uh, fits in there. You know. But I, you probably can't go much longer than four and a half inches on your knife. So that's one way how you could store um, your smaller knives and still keep them accessible for whenever you want to because you'll be able to see which one you want to take out and clean or maintain. But that's that. We're already four and a half minutes in. So let's do a quick spin here. Uh, whoops. <laughs> we got the ZT out there and Here's another thing real quick, too. Got all these little things going on. Um, I read somewhere if you cut cooked meats, 
with uh, one of your carbon blades that you're trying to put a patine on it'll actually put like a bluing effect it's not coming out on the camera but it's actually a really cool looking blue bluing but yeah I treated myself for to a steak yesterday and use that to cut it up cut it up with um, just knocking everything over over here got the K bar dog he dogs head um, X177 up on top uh, I threw a keen cutter Barlow where the Shatton Morgan Barlow was that I'm going to show you and over here real, qu real quick this is another pale knife I showed you guys this uh, yesterday which is just the jack with the ba uh, baseball shield this is right around the same period it's a pale but it has no shield and it's a three blade cattle knife so I'll probably be showing those real quick because I like to do the vintage but anyway let's uh, pull out the Shat Morgan she's a beauty I've been waiting for this one now this here is GEC quality and I'm not kidding there's not a scratch on it there's not a flaw on it it has su superb walk and talk um, some great coloring on the bone they call it golden age jig bone yeah. Oops, excuse me <laughs> and you'll see you'll see on the keystone there that it says uh, 925 SS which is 0.925 sterling silver and <clears throat> over here you'll see it's a 1 of 600 and of course the pattern number and the date is on the uh, manufacturing date is on the pen blade I'm trying to get that to focus in a little Sometimes when you get too much stuff in the background, it won't focus in. There you go. Camera wanted to shoot up. Uh, um, wanted to line up with the K-Bar, I think. But there you go. There's a pretty good look at the pen blade. But once I put this in the hand, you guys are going to freak. I'm really happy with this knife. And let's take a quick look at the show side. Give you guys one more long look at it there. But as you can see, look on the bolster. I love the um, s and stamp. But there's not a scuff or a scratch on this thing. Let's check out the pile side, which is just gorgeous. Once again... Uh, um, <clears throat> Shatton Morgan, they do a lot of variations of an amber jig bone, and they give it all these uh, funky names like the, that um, English jack that I just showed you earlier. That's called a brownberry jig bone, or brownberry amber jig bone. This is a golden age jig bone, and I think this was called uh, uh, worm root jig bone which has like a little bit of green in it but here we go just a gorgeous knife and you know I got you guys know I love my Barlow's this is my first Shat and Morgan but it won't be my last if I can find any more but that's what I'm kind of hoping one day GEC will make a $100 Barlow. You know, a top quality $100 Barlow because I paid like $120 for this to get it shipped to the door. And if GEC would make something like that instead of these uh, $200, $250 Barlows. Although I do have a um, Tom's Choice number 14 lost in the mail somewhere. So I'll show you guys that when I get it. <clears throat> K 
Okay, let's. Uh, we're at ten minutes here. Let's take a look at it in the hand. Bring this down a little bit. Well, that's a snap. Take a look at this back spring. There's a little slight thing up here and if you want to be picky you could take points off for that I'm not going to take points off for that got a little patina it's a 2003 so she's 17 years old now um, could probably take a little half point off for not being completely centered Almost looks like the tip of the blade is bent, too. I didn't see that. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. My old eyes are deceiving me. And as you'll see, walk and talk. Huh. Didn't see that bit blade bent, that tip. Just ever so slightly. Well, I guess it's not perfect. <laughs> it's what usually happens. I think they're perfect. I'll get them under the camera and you kind of see things you don't see. One out of 600. Titusville, Pennsylvania, Shatton Morgan. And nothing on the stamp here or on the tang. But there you got 2003. It's a 042169. Oh, there we go. Shat and Morgan. So let's, um, since it's my first Shat and Morgan, let's put it up with. I have two Queen Barlows. Um, first let's put them all together closed, then I'll open them up. Put that one there. We've got a queen in walnut and a queen drake well in a saw cut bone. So up on the top, I forgot what year that is, but it's a queen, queen made, um, number 69 Barlow in Walnut. And the one under, at the bottom here is the Drakewell. Let's flip them over real quick. I love that Walnut. And that Drake well Barlow speaks for itself. So let's quickly open up the blades and then I'll get out of here. I gotta do some chores. All clip points. Trying to hold her steady for the final shot. Okay, my friends, take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Everybody be safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.